So I've been wanting to make a video about why I'm not really posting here on YouTube. What am I doing? I kind of feel as though I'm just tanking my channel and it's like self-sabotage. I've got all this footage on my hard drive from trips I've taken throughout Australia and New Zealand and even the current trips that I'm doing now and I'm not, I can't, it's like a writer's block. I can't seem to get myself to edit this footage and put it out there. I've been for months trying to figure out like what is going on with me? Why, why can't I seem to be motivated to do what I I'm most passionate about. I guess me making this video is me trying to come up with the reasons and then also maybe ask for feedback from you guys, my audience. I haven't been consistently making content since March, I would say, right around the time COVID happened. I think in the beginning, the reasoning was I had a lot going on, like I did my three months of farm work. And so I thought, okay, well, once the farm work finishes, I will get my stuff done. But then that didn't happen. I keep reflecting and I keep trying to figure out what's going on with me. Why can I not seem to post? And this is what I've kind of landed on. When you travel, you change a lot you change so much because you are constantly in a state of discomfort and because you're in a state of discomfort you start to learn a lot about yourself and how you respond to new environments new people new uh, obstacles or even new surprises good things in your life you learn a lot about how you respond and how you absorb it and how you go about things and in doing so I guess you could say you're finding yourself right now it's been over four years that I've been on this particular journey I've traveled my whole life but this particular like long stretch has been over four years in the span of four years it would be physically impossible that I am the same person as I was when I first started this journey what I want to say is I have never loved myself so much than I have these past few months which is a crazy thing because obviously it's been really hard in the world and it's been hard for me as well but for some reason this year has been such a blast for me because I've really learned how to love myself in the good moments and in the bad moments. And I have recognized that, you know, especially from an outer side appearance, that it may look like I'm changing into this, you know, Australian hippie or whatever people want to say. But I guess the way I've looked at it is that I've always kind of had this inside of me, you know, this gypsy lust, this like free spirit, spir free spirits, um, colorful way of life. And I just kind of feel like, you know, I never really met the people that really brought that parts out of me. And finally, for the first time in my life, I've been surrounded by people who I really feel like I connect very deeply with and who really bring my full self out of me and I've been feeling like fucking amazing because of it because I feel like myself I feel like I'm actually like extracting all these bits and pieces out of myself and they're coming to life and I'm learning so much and I guess I kind of feel like people are not so happy with that or kind of judging that in the sense like oh you know you're not the same in these videos as your old videos and like where's that person and you know, to be honest, like, there was moments in my videos, like, I was super depressed. So I find it kind of funny when people are like, oh, you seem so much happier back then, or I missed those videos, when there's moments there that I was, like, in a very dark place. Because traveling's like this, right? It was almost like, I guess I felt like people weren't actually listening to what I was saying in my videos sometimes, because, like, I did talk about, like, a lot of the things I went through in the bad moments and the hard times. But I don't, I think people chose not to like focus or hear them. I don't know, which is something we do as people is we, you know, you maybe ask a friend or how you, how you doing today? And they're like, oh yeah, I'm not good. And they'll be like, oh yeah, cool. Um, and they kind of, re it's like a natural response because you're not actually expecting someone to say I'm having a shit day. And you're like, oh, hey, how are you? And then you're like, you completely don't hear anything that I just said to you. Yeah, I guess I kind of feel like the content that I have shot recently like I don't know like people are not necessarily gonna like it because they miss like this old poppy or whatever but like we all change 
like constantly and I haven't changed morally or like as a person but I definitely like feel like yeah I've, I've grown I've, I've been on new adventures and I I feel a lot more open lately like I don't know I've been feeling quite fearless um, like I just went busking for the first time the other day that's Australian terminology for street performing I got a ukulele a few months ago, had no idea how to play it. Actually, a friend of mine bought it for me as a joke. And then now is like, I can't believe how into the ukulele you are. I'm super into fitness these days and just like health and body and, and diet. Like I became a vegan, I'm, I shouldn't say vegan, plant-based. Yeah, I've just discovered a lot of new passions this year and different things about myself. And obviously, you know, we can't really travel so easily these days. Jesus, I'm like eaten alive by bugs, but yeah, and then in the past few months I've lived in my van, which is a very, very different life, and I'm absolutely loving it. I almost like don't know how I'm ever going to get out of a van, except for the fact that it's summertime and I'm starting to literally melt. Um, my intention is to inspire and to motivate people and to push people beyond their boundaries, and I want you to look at the videos and not just go, oh, look at that amazing lifestyle, I wish I could do that, but actually look at it and go, okay, this is a girl who's gotten here, I can do that too. And I think I battle this sometimes where I'm like, I just really don't want to be showcasing my life just to show it and just be like, look how much fun I'm having, but actually like really install that idea that look how much fun Poppy's having, I can do that too, and this is how I'm gonna do it. Like she did it with no money, she did it by herself, she did it with no plan, she did it um, when everybody was against her, you know, or when my family was against me. As I've changed, as we all do, we all change. But when you're in, like, obviously the media's view, people don't like change and people don't want to see that. But it's a very natural process and if you're not changing, it's probably something to be concerned why you're not. But, yeah, I'm changing all the time and I love it. And I'm changing at a way rapid more rapid pace than probably somebody who's in a stable environment who's doing the same thing all the time. Obviously, I'm gonna change. And for people to kind of judge and be like, oh, you seemed happier then, or you seem happier now, or whatever, it's not really your place or their place to be even saying such things. And I think it gets in my head a little bit because I'm like, I'm doing me, and I'm loving it. <laughs> I don't know, guys, I don't know. But I guess I'd like to know, what is it that you want from me, because like what kind of content do you want to see on this channel? That's the other thing is finding this balance between filming and actually living my life. I've never fully figured that out. I used to film everything and then I felt like, well, I'm just constantly working and people don't act natural when you just shove a camera on their face. Some people do, but a lot of people don't and they feel uncomfortable. And so for me, especially like I'm in van life right now, I'm me rocking up and meeting new people. And if I'm like holding a camera like, hey, I'm Poppy, people don't like that. Some people, yeah, but you know, it's, 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 I, I find it a bit rude, like, you know, I need to ask permission if you want to be in the video, especially they don't even realize where they're, where they're, this video's going, you know, and I could edit the videos that I have already from Australia and New Zealand, so I took some beautiful trips and kind of, I guess, promote some travel content of things and places you can go visit. I guess the biggest thing, biggest takeaway of this video is, there's a big lizard over there. <laughs> I guess the biggest takeaway I want to say in this video is that yeah I've changed in a great way and I'm super happy and I'm so happy with myself and I've loved this vibe and this life that I've created and van life and the people I'm meeting and all the jams and all the things I've been learning I've been learning how to play with a lot of fire. I've been exercising all the time, I'm jamming, I have a drum. I'm absolutely 
open loving life despite everything going on. So I guess the point of this video is I'm trying to save save this channel, save my, my passion because I know I still have a passion for video. I have a passion for inspiring people and motivating people. I would love to continue with this channel because it gives me the freedom to, gives me the freedom to speak and hopefully inspire and keep up this lifestyle that I definitely like I want to be doing van life I think for a long time I'm probably gonna go take this to other countries and start doing van life but just want to say um, I love all of you guys who have stuck with me through everything through the good times the bad times who are still here watching this channel I really appreciate you and I would really appreciate any like you know feedback on what kind of content you want to be seeing on this channel yeah Hopefully I can get back on my feet and start bringing some some inspirational content. That's what I want. I want to be sharing with you guys inspirational content that really helps you guys. That actually brings something to you guys to take from and implement in your own life. Tactics you can implement in your own life. And therefore what I'm influencing people here in person I can do in the masses over the media. And that would be amazing. So as always, don't know where I'll be. But if you want to find out, then you better follow. Where's Poppy? See where I am. Is that what my line is at the end? I actually can't remember. I get ah, I guess you'll have to stay tuned to find out where's Poppy. Alright, see you guys. Peace!